Hi everyone, it's Cherry and Chenches. I'm here with another weekly message from your person and we're using um, some of my decks here. As far as the tarot goes, sometimes I'll alternate different tarots depending on kind of a theme sometimes. And the Spellcaster's Tarot is what I've been using lately to get a little bit more diversity into our, <laughs> our readings. And um, here we have the Erotic Enchantment, which is a deck that I created, and it's a sexy deck. And if you're interested in this deck, you can get it on my Etsy shop. But now uh, it gets sold out pretty quick on Etsy. So if you, so now it is available directly from the publisher, and you'll find that information down in the information description box. Uh, make playing no printer studio prints these for me. Make playing cards prints these in my tarot. And soon I will be making an oracle using the same um, a, um, company publisher as um, as V Love and Crystals used for hers. And I'm going to get those cards in soon so we can check out the quality and all of that together. Anyway, so just wanted to do a, kind of a brief little commercial on this. <laughs> so let's um, pick some objects out for you guys to focus on. So object one is the pink opal. Object two is the green aventurine. And object three is our delicious orange calcite. Push out your breath. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes, release your breath. Now open your eyes and let them go to the stone that you feel will have those messages for you from your person. We're also using love notes from Queen Sugar and um, the Romance Angels Oracle as extra messages. All right, so take a moment while you're thinking about it. just want to send a thank you out for any of you who came out to my live last night. It was a very, very nice event. It went kind of late. <laughs> I felt a little drained by it, honestly, but I did have a very good time. I enjoyed your enthusiasm and, and the turnout was amazing. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, anybody that came out. I really do appreciate your support of the channel. It's, it means a lot to me. All right, guys, well, let's begin. All right, pile number one is the pink opal. Let's get started with the Enchanted Embrace cards. Give them a good shuffle. All right, let's see what your messages are from your person for Pink Opal Pile. Just do you? Oh no! <laughs> okay, what else? This seems like a block, almost. Alright, let's see what else we can get. I want to feel your touch. Alright, that's better. Your hair shimmers in the moonlight. I'm sorry I couldn't get to you. All right, so they're feeling a little bit defensive, I think. Something going on. Sorry I couldn't get to you. Just, you know, but they, I feel there's an admiration here because if they're saying, do you, they might be watching you. You know, they see your hair and they see, they want to reach out and touch you, but they can't for some reason. Okay, so let's see what the erotic enchantment has to say. What would they like to do?
Can't wait. Let's see. Mm, I love this one. Kissing. Passionate indulgence. Nice. Let's see what else. Ooh, yes. That's the cover photo right there. Exploring something different. Trying out every pulling out all the kinky stops i think that's what that means and ooh, he definitely is watching you know aroused maybe looking at you makes him feel like this <laughs> that's not so subtle is it <laughs> all right let's let's sprinkle a little fairy dust on this <laughs> let's lighten it up with some fairy dust fairy dust was being very very interesting last night that's not a fairy dust sound though okay sleep underneath the nighttime skies fairies sing you lullabies Ooh, it's about singing maybe there's this some kind of lullaby here that that maybe your person's been listening to that makes me feel connected to you I know on Smule, I've done, you know, they have a lot, of, like, especially, like, those heavy metal songs, sometimes they turn them into lullabies, like, some Metallica songs, it's kind of fun. All right, let's see um, what the love notes number two have to say. All right, that was one good shuffle. <laughs> Let's see, what else? What else does your person have to say? What does your person have to say? Anything else? Whoop. There's a bunch. You are everything that I could ever want or need. I'm mentally conflicted. The sound of your voice lingers in my mind. There's definitely a sound here, issue here. How far we go always seems to get better with time. That's nice. So definitely a divine timing situation issue. Let's give this one good shuffle. Okay, let's see. Oh, these two came out. I'm still hurt from the past. I forgive you. All right, so this could be the female's response to the masculine, the feminine's response. It could be also, it could be the masculine. It could be another side or something else that's going on with them. But because it's pink, some, most of the time I, I, I consider this the feminine's perspective. All right? So the feminine is for, has forgiveness for the masculine, and that's good. It should be that way, because holding on to anger and resentment is not going to get you any closer to each other. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do some tarot now. Let's give it one good shuffle. Let's, let's see. I'm feeling a little dizzy and loopy today. I don't know. And my baby Poe is back sick again. He got his fever back. So after this, I'm just going to rest. Sorry about the noise. I don't like to stop, though, because especially in the live shuffle, because I want you to feel the actual message. Ooh, okay. You've got sun, that's nice. And the Ten of Wands. There's some kind of burden he's dealing with right now, or she, um, a burden. And and a lot of times it's somebody else's burden. It's like they could put down their load anytime and run off. But I feel like the sun is a promise of something good to come. And look, it's kind of like spinning the, the spindle, like that spinning wheel comes out. It's kind of like beauty, like, um, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, and it was, you were asleep. Interesting. Maybe somebody's going to be woken up, finally put down their burden, go out and meet their person, commune. It's interesting. But maybe he sees you as a, as like Sleeping Beauty, a beautiful woman with a sweet voice. You got the Ten of Pentacles. That's good. And 
the four of pentacles okay so <laughs> that's not as good but it's it's not such a bad thing in your case in this kind of in this context it's kind of a possessiveness it's like he doesn't want he no he he feels that you belong to him he doesn't he feels a little afraid of i feel there's a distance here maybe he feels a little afraid of the distance he doesn't want anybody else to snatch you up but he's busy with this but what he wants from you or with you is this like a happily ever after let's see what um the romance angels have to say let's see What does the romance angels have to say? Your messages from your person. Ooh. Engagement. Nice. There's going to be a leveling up. And look, heart to heart conversations. I think you might even want to propose. Like, oh my gosh, he's just, he just doesn't want to lose you. He wants to put a ring on it because. Well, for one, he doesn't want to lose you. And two, because he wants to have this forever with you. He wants to have this happily ever after. He wants you guys to belong to each other. Hmm. That kind of gives, makes me think of my mom and her fiancé. And I keep wondering why, you know, a marriage was necessary. But I feel like maybe this kind of helps, you know. Like, this helps me to understand a little bit. You know, there there can be sort of a a need for legacy um a happy ending kind of feeling you know that forever after and you belong to me kind of thing so i think that might be a case here you know all right so let's see what your terms have to say all right oh nice you got you got the beast who is the masculine in transition who is um holding um jasmine's elbow <laughs> she's a little bit sassy but he he likes her <laughs> he's like you know jasmine it's okay that's okay i like your spitfire quality and hey i can take you um dancing even if maybe i can't take you on a magic carpet right <laughs> all right let's see we got the um We've got the optimistic little piggy. We've got MTV. So to me, this is like a generational connection, making you feel bonded and connected through pop culture and and things in common. Go-go's, there's kind of this feeling of wanting to go, go, go with this person. Genesis starting over, starting fresh. Look, engagement. Let me tell you, somebody might be getting married. Engaged to some nighttime activity. Um, some cord cutting, maybe. Some kind of trimming. It could be hair trimming or beard trimming or uh, eyebrow trimming. Hey, I trimmed my eyebrows today. <laughs> I noticed I was like, oh my god, I've been going like that around like that with my my eyebrows like hanging down to my eyelashes. That's crazy. You might be um, making a home together. Star of hope and renewal. A lot of stars here. And you know, nighttime. So maybe look for something happening in the evening. Another star. Something feeling very sure. You're playful. You got little cherub fairy singing to you. Maybe that's why it feels like a lullaby. Cause sound. Maybe she has a. Maybe you have a really beautiful voice, and even just a speaking voice, and it's very tranquil to them. You got um, honeybee. Like they want to make a home with you. Your rock solid love. You've got the karmic wheel. You've got the canon of explosive feelings and sexual desires. <laughs> You've got the, the airplanes of possible travel. The key with two hearts in it. You belong to each other. The rooster. Rooster keeps coming out in the in the um, person readings, doesn't it? <laughs> but the rooster is a, is a good sign. Definitely be, the rooster, be, between the rooster and the canon, it can't have to do with sex. Like the cock, you know, and... Pfft, 
orgasms <laughs> shooting something and I mean with this picture I mean that one <laughs> that's not surprising but the rooster is about like a wake-up call waking up exercising building muscles beautiful mermaid deep communication um, four-leaf clover this is the pretty four-leaf clover and number two two I was my son sent me a video about 2020 and it was interesting how it says it says perfect vision <laughs> speaking of vision perfect vision is 2020 why is that right so 2020 hindsight perfect and perfect vision and so I feel like this something about that date and this year has something to do with your situation Ooh. Um, February 29th that's a leap year right so and then we had one this year maybe something exciting ha exciting happened this year or maybe maybe you'll get married next year but I don't think we're gonna have one next year hmm leap year is a magical kind of year too on people who are born on that you know they don't ever they age a lot less than we do <laughs> because they they only age every four years you know Anyway, we've got the cross here, which talks about spirit and faith, and you are a divine. You are the, you know, the god, the goddess. Yes, you are the empress or the emperor. Anyway, so there you go, you guys. I hope that helped you, and hope you feel you connect to it. I'm gonna go ahead and move on quickly, but a lot of hugs and kisses to everybody. I just want to shout out though that. Um, new Fool of Faither is, um, well, some that I haven't mentioned, Curly Girl and Jessica Johnson. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, no, there's Sparkles of Light. There just came on as Sparkles of Light, and Mary Joy is the new Fool of Faither. But thank you, all, all of you, all of my beautiful members and subscribers, and even you visitors who are just stopping by, help the channel so very much. Moving on to the next. If you like these cards, though, check out the description box right there and opens up and it has all the links that you can find different stuff. Okay, I'm moving on to the next. Okay, here's pile number two with the green aventurine. Uh, yeah, we'll put this, these two up right there <laughs> so you don't get confused and I don't get confused. We're going to start off with the Enchanted Embrace. <laughs> so they've been good and shuffled. From pile one. I mean, I can do it again. Let's do one good shuffle for you. Okay. Here we go. Messages for pile green aventurine. Oh yeah, we'll put that back right there. For pile green aventurine. Ooh, I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, that wasn't nice. <laughs> what else do you have to say? I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry that I made you cry. I didn't want to hurt you. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful. I want to make love to you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Aw, nice. All right, well, let's go ahead and do some fairy dust right now so we can move this box out of the way. <laughs> okay, fairies, what do you want to say about this situation? Seems very sweet. Flowers. Flowers will brighten up your space and create a fairy friendly place. Nice. Okay, so we've got a little bit of sweetness there. But the I love you with the flowers goes nicely. Now let's see about this making love stuff. <laughs> what kind of erotic situation are we looking at here? I just want to make love to you. Okay, we'll take those three. Or how many is that? Well, that's a bunch. We'll take them. We'll take them. <laughs> we got, ooh, squeezing. This is mine. They like your booty. 
ooh, fusion. <laughs> I had a private reading like this. It started off with a booty, and they're like, oh, I like that booty so much. I want to do something with that booty. So uh, from behind, fusion from behind. There you go, another booty. Spontaneity, anytime, anywhere. Wow. Kissing, aw. And exploring perfect i love all of these <laughs> yes kiss ex kiss passionately explore something different and get a bunch of booty squeezes and just get like somebody grabbing you taking you just any place anywhere <laughs> that's what he's trying to tell you in case you didn't know yeah but he just or your person just really wants to make love to you kind of in a hurry because as soon as they see you they just don't know what to do with themselves <laughs> all right let's see about your um love notes from queen sugar if you guys like these go talk to queen sugar about them she can tell you where to find them i think um she, yeah she also uses printer studio and you can find some there but she i think she also has a website where you can get her stuff see what we got sometimes I wonder if I'm good enough for you oh don't say that go bet let's get back to the making love stuff sometimes I wonder you know sometimes we all wonder and if you, that's the thing that always surprises me when that comes out it's like hey if we're twin some of you guys out there are twin flame some of you of course you're just thinking about a person it's not necessarily your twin fame but if you're if you're twin flames or if you're the kind of really tight soulmate types the one you know then you're mirroring a lot of your feelings and if you feel not good enough for the other person they feel the same way too so stop mirroring stop doing that because it's just contagious <laughs> Those feelings are contagious. Keep up the positive feelings so the positive things will be contagious and bring you guys together. Let's see what else. Don't mean to chastise. <laughs> you can be honest with me. Go ahead. Express yourself. Express yourself. Hey, hey. Does that offer still stand? Hmm. What kind of offer did you guys make between each other? What kind of... kind of, okay there's a bunch here now i don't want to be rejected so i stay silent i feel safer not knowing the outcome i hope running i keep running because i never had a love like this strong before i'm ready to take you out on a romantic date i'm sorry for all the pain that i have caused you it's so funny when i give permission for the masculine to talk they just okay i'll say all of this <laughs> I need you to know that it hurts me knowing that it hurts you. Yeah, I didn't mean to hurt you, see? When I look into your eyes, I get lost in you. This time when I come back, I'm here for good. This time I won't leave you or lose you. Okay, because Pi One didn't want to lose their person either. So there is a bit of that sense of, all right, I'm going to get this straightened out and I'm not going to lose you. This is sort of the feminine's response, maybe, or another side to the issue. You are my best friend. Friends forgive friends, right? You are the first person that comes to mind. You freed me. That's nice. There's power in being the masculine, and the feminine is just saying, you... You are worthy. Look what you've done for me. You freed me. You've made me the person that I am today. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Spellcaster's tarot. Let's see. All right, nice. You've got seven of pentacles, a work in progress. It just needs a little bit of watering and a, a little bit of TLC, tender loving care, but I think it's working. I think that's working for you guys. And you have the two of swords. There could be some flip-flopping back and forth in thoughts, but there, all right, but <laughs> also there's a sense of bravery here. You know, 
so somebody needs to gather up the courage to turn around and face the wolf and 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 it might take a few moments but that choice will be made that their choices will be made and they i mean they fear that they have a battle to face and so so they've been putting off this decision but they know that they can't put it off too much longer even if it's battling their own self-worth, you know? And that could be for ma masculine or feminine or both, since oftentimes you guys mirror each other, like I've said before. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more, but those are two very powerful messages right there. Spirit, I think, says we're done here, okay, with the tarot. So let's look at the enchanted, I mean, enchanted, here I go, everything's enchanted. <laughs> let's look at the, um, the romance angels. Here we go. Romance angels, what do they say? Whoa, okay. We'll take these three, and anything that's face down, we'll just, we won't take. But we did get some good ones in five one. Very nice cards. Here we have, oh, something is happening very soon. That's exciting. So yeah, I think this decision is going to be made sooner than you think. And you need to also clearly decide that it's what you want, that you both are deciding what you want so it can come to you very soon. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your par partnership. This is about, you know, working on things. And um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's a lot of loving and forgiving going on right here. And that's good. That's really good. So let's see what your charms have to say. Ooh. I see a ducky. You know what duck rhymes with? <laughs> I'll tell you that full. If you if you know the story, tell it in the comment section. If you don't know the story, I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> All right. So we got Aladdin, who is the divine masculine in transition from pauper to prince. You've got Belle, full of love. Like, you know, I mean. Maybe she could take his shoulder and step out in the town together. <laughs> uh, she's a loving person. She she doesn't discriminate. She gives people a chance, right? It says give your relationship a chance. You've got C. You've got you've got the Go Go's. Uh oh, Jasmine's here. Like she's like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm your true twin flame. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, Belle. Sorry about that. Beast is, he'll be ready in a moment for you. <laughs> then we've got Bruce Springsteen. You've got um, working out the weights. You've got have some wine while you're waiting here. Uh, you've got the, the moon. So that's kind of like um, subconscious, deep secrets, communication. In, in dream world, subconsciously. Belle's waiting. She's waiting under the chandelier for, for the beast to be ready, and he's getting his hair curled and twirled. <laughs> ever, ever. Sure. It's a sure thing. The stars are bright, big and bright. You have an ever, ever hopeful, sure, starry, ever, ever situation here. It might be, you might be in a waiting pattern right now, but don't worry, that won't last too long because you got a very soon here. You got the baby angels singing to you, your deep, beautiful, loving mermaid, and palm trees, so maybe a nice vacation or getaway. Um, metamorphosis, like you're really changing, you're gonna have a transformation. Maybe you're falling in love for the first time or for the umpteenth time, I don't know. Like. A lot of times when we rediscover our own, our love of ourselves, then we fall in, all, in love all over again with our persons too. You have the, um, you have the karmic wheel of love, love, love. So 
just know that even during Mercury retrograde, there is love there. You can feel connected to your person. There's the camera, so it could be photography, selfies, FaceTime, Zoom, things like that where you can get connected with your person. So that might be coming up for you. And the the dinosaur, all, it sometimes makes me think like a, an age difference between people, a long memory, you know, like, or many lives spent together kind of thing. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you liked pile number two. I'm going to move on to the next. If you um, want to get these cards, check out in the description box below the, um, the website for Printer Studio where you can find me and my link. And I only have one item right now in the store, <laughs> but uh, in my store. But there could be more to come. Uh, I, I use a variety of um, print places just because I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. And um, making makeplaincards.com do these. And so I, I have a, I'm waiting for the approval and then you can get these too. I hope so. I really do hope so. Their problem was that, that I had nudity and so maybe maybe they'll they'll just flip the card over and, and use the, this image instead. Let's just hope because that'll be good for those of you who are this they're very popular cards anyway they go fast <laughs> all right and uh, I just want to shout out to all my beautiful members and subscribers and members you know what I'm thinking of having a a members only party so just be on the lookout I will send a members only post in the community pages and we can have a members only party one of these nights that way you can get a lot of special one-on-one -on -one attention all right well i'm going to move on to the next okay and here is pile number three with the orange calcite that looks so yummy we're going to keep that there so we know what we're doing we're going to start off with the with the um enchanted embrace cards let's see what kind of message we get from your person this can be anybody in most most cases it's twin flame soulmates long distance things like that but people i mean it, it could easily be a person that you've lived with that's your boyfriend that you know stormed out of the house and now you want to know what he's thinking but um it, it's usually it's usually just people in separation or non-communication that these kind of messages help us with but you definitely can use it any way you like for help in your situation so what is your person saying Ooh, you are sweet perfume like a desert rose i like that one <laughs> there's that good um, song by Sting that, that I got that from I dream of rain and lay, lay, lay. La, 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 la. so maybe he smelt you before and you smell good I don't deserve you oh I'm so tired of hearing that <laughs> it's like don't you know what you're doing when you say I don't deserve you you're putting that on your on your person like person to person if they say that then they're reflecting it on you if you say it you're reflecting on them and then you'll never get together because you'll have this mirroring effect of the not deserving of each other i think when a person feels that the best thing that they can do is just work to prove that they deserve you <laughs> right keep working at it i feel you on my bones nice Speaking of bones, <laughs> maybe we should go ahead and move on to the erotic enchantment. Anything else? I also like, you know, I don't deserve you can be kind of a charming thing to say sometimes, but I love you. Oh, yay. It came out twice. That's so nice. Let's see what the fairies have to say about all of this. <laughs> they they were so wise last night. I just was very <laughs> so excited and surprised at the outcome. Animal healing. Oh, okay, let's see. Because my popo is not feeling well. No matter the creature, earth, sky, or sea, animals show us how true love can be. Oh, okay. Okay, family. 
Wherever you go, whatever you do, your family is here for you. Music. Fairies dance in the green hollow where music plays, joy will follow. Nice music connection. And butterflies. Whenever you see a butterfly flutter through the grass, it's to remind you of the love of those who've passed. So your ancestors are with you too. That's nice. Your pets, your ancestors, and your family, they're all with you always. And the music that connects us. Have you ever seen um, August Rush? That's a really beautiful movie about families and music and how music connected this this beautiful little family together that were actually a family in separation you know the it's a love story about a couple in separation but they also have a child together who's also separated from them and and the movie's all about the separation of their souls but the, actually the music brings their souls together it is this the most beautiful little movie ever but you guys should watch it it's called august rush all right, so let's, it's a, definitely a soulmate movie. Let's see, um, let's talk about some erotic stuff now. How do they feel about you erotically? Let's see. Erotically. Explain to me erotically what kind of things you feel in your bones. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. All right. There's a magnetism undeniable and strong between you, like a moth to a flame. By the way, this is the image used um, in my erotic enchantment in my store. So to find my deck, you'll, it'll show that image because it's the only one that, ever, that, have, that, that people had clothes on. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to put this as the default <laughs> so they, they won't have problems. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else. Erotically. Erotically speaking... go with that. Ooh, tasting. And speaking of bones, <laughs> oh yes, he's a very, he's very hot for you. He and, and this is not just any sweet, passionate kiss. This is sweet, deep kissing. This is like really plunging down into your mouth to be like holding you in place and kissing you, that kind of kiss. Kind of like, whoo, Fanny, please. <laughs> All right, let's see. let's go ahead and get some more messages from the Love Notes by Queen Sugar. Okay, you got my mind and heart always come back to you, and I want to hold you. Nice. Let's go ahead and go on to the pink ones. Because I feel like that's a nice message right there. We'll just stop right there. <laughs> stop right there. Let's see what else. You freed me, so the feminine is feeling free, and you are the first person that comes to mind again, and you're my best friend. That same message came out. That's so sweet. So the feminine just feeling really happy and free um, with this masculine, like he's the one. He's the one that really makes her feel herself, you know, like she can feel she can just do whatever she wants to do. So masculine don't need to say I don't deserve you because look at what you've done for your feminine. You freed her. Again, <laughs> pile two, pile three. Let's see what Tarot has to say. Let's see. About pile number three, the orange calcite pile or group. Group orange calcite. Team orange calcite. You've got eight of cups. That's very witchy, isn't it? Like an altar. The eight of cups is about walking away from something. Yeah. So, interesting. This witch is like a um, manly witch. He kind of like got a beard and a mustache. And the cup spilt. He was about to walk away. He saw the cup spill. 
I don't think he's going to turn back and write it. He's going to just leave it like that. He's just going to leave it like that because it's his destiny is towards the moon. I feel like that's what's going on here. Five of Swords, but there could be a battle. There could be some kind of fight, whether it's an inner struggle with them, with your person or an outer struggle with other people. But the this is a struggle with the wolves, right? The wolves. It's not so much about person to person. So it could be about an inner struggle here. And the Six of Swords, it looks like the journey's going to be taken anyway. It, I mean, I feel like two people coming towards each other. You know, they might find us somewhere in the middle there. Six of Swords, she's leaving and he's leaving. And they meet somewhere in the middle. He might have to, I mean, they both have to overcome some kind of challenge. Yeah, they're overcoming the challenges, I think. So you and your person are overcoming challenges, and you're going to meet somewhere in the middle. That's what I'm getting from that. Let's see about your, um, about your romance angels. Let's see. I like this image a lot. The Eight of... Eight of, cup, Eight of Cups looks different in a lot of different decks, but that one looks especially cool. All right. And I like wolves sometimes in place of people. It's interesting. Let's see what, what you're, you've got. Give your relationship a chance. See? So you are. You're going to give this a chance. You're moving towards each other. You're overcoming obstacles. You're overcoming challenges. You both want the same thing. You're trying to tell your person, yeah, we deserve each other and you freed me and you're the you're the one for me. And you're, there's children here and there's children with the fairies, right? Family. So your love life is, is being affected by children. So I don't think it's a, a childish behavior. It could mean um, having sort of a lightheartedness. It can sometimes, whether you have you have children or not it doesn't matter but I feel like sometimes it's important to look at the children and see their innocence and their way their the way they approach things they're, they're definitely more authentic to their desires they're a little bit more raw right raw desires they um, they're unapologetic right and children um, you know they go with their their guts and their feelings and they ask why a lot you know and maybe this is a time for you to ask why too why you're holding back, why you just don't go. And so maybe that's a turning point for you, okay? So let's see about your charms. Charms. Have, to have and to hold. So let's see what your words are. Have, color, world, USA, why, see, told you to say, well, ask why. Cool hug. Oh, you got a guitar. Somebody might be a guitar player or practicing the guitar. I know I always wanted to learn the bass. I actually took some guitar lessons, and that was really fun. <laughs> oh, I knew you were going to get named. I knew somebody was going to, so remind me, i got to do Scrabble. <laughs> Hope, you got the number five. Star, uh, you've got ooh the three wishes. You got genie, and genie's also about freedom. You freed me. Oh yeah, you freed me. You're my best friend. You freed me. Like that's Aladdin's best friend, and you freed them. Uh, you got C. Ooh, you got an engagement too. Some kind of promise ring with the letter S. And you have friends, so maybe some French kind of situation here. Oh, a possible date coming up in the future with candlelight. Ooh, an activity, a movement, a, a lining of the chakras. Uh, I just feel like a p peaceful movement. I This feels kind of like, like a pro, not a protest, but like electricity, an all-seeing eye, um, it, it makes me think of LGBT, it makes me think of righting wrongs and equality and 
all of this to in the forefront, like something very strong and dynamic and exciting is happening here. We've got Taurus, who is uh, trustworthy. You've got the Elephant of Memories and the Tree of Health and Branching Out. Cheese, mmm, cheese. I like cheese. I I just didn't realize how much I do like cheese <laughs> until recently. I'm like, why is everything that I go for has cheese in it? And then I have um, pineapple and the letter D and pentacles and a, a fairy dust chip. And look, you got babies. So children, something about kids is real important. Maybe you'll have children together. Um, you have N. And, and speaking of children, here are my two kids, my two oldest ones. These are their baby pictures. Now they're six years apart, but I got each of their baby pictures in here. And if this, if I could find a threefold one, I would put my baby boy, boy my third child in there too. And they're, um, oh, those are my initials. And look, you've got the um, twin flame. Now it's funny because they're in the kids, right? And we we're talking about kids, but this, when I first, had I found these I call this my twin flame charm so so that could be the children could be the twin flame charm <laughs> this is a, a magical situation I think magic is going to come to you something can, interesting there's not any bad cards here because I feel like the the um tarot is all about the the only one that's difficult is this five of swords which it's not like a tower moment it's definitely doable it's an it's a challenge it's it could be an argument or a fight or something but you're overcoming this you're headed towards each other which is really nice and all your messages are, are good except the, i don't deserve you all the messages are really good and yeah so this is like a really happy one and I hope you like that. Thumbs up if you like that. Feel free to comment below. And um, yeah, I guess I'm done. If you need anything, check out the description box. Right there is the arrow. It opens up the box with all my links. And you can find all these places to, um, to, the places to buy things, places to hang out with me, places, ways to support the channel if you want to get any of these cards. The first link down there will be the printer studio link so you can get them directly so and there's no limit on the quantity that you can buy you can just buy as many you want as you want there's gonna always be some in in the you know like like if you get it from Etsy I run out I do and I just have to restock and I will be restocking and you definitely can buy through my Etsy but either way I will I do get make money either way either way you want to buy them so it's there's one's not better than the other the only thing about Etsy it's more personal it goes through me I bless it you know has my energy in it and everything if you go straight from the the manufacturer it's just you know it's in its little cardboard box and doesn't have the same kind of energy but you can always once you get it home you can bless it yourself and put your own energy onto it okay guys well i hope that helped that helped you and i just want to give a big kiss and hug and shout out to all my beautiful subscribers thank you so much thank you to visitors appreciate your support appreciate your thumbs up and and your numbers make a difference on my channel and and definitely especially all my members um my platinum pixie amira deshawn and now i have lupe c is my platinum pixie thank you so much lupe i didn't i haven't shouted you out yet but thank you so much and i'm gonna get to your reading soon <laughs> and uh my full of faithers priyank cheryl nina shafir courtney elena or should i say andrea and mary joy and my sparkles of light Brian, Ariella, Curly Girl, and Jessica Johnson. And I have beautiful patrons as well. Mary Dodge, Mary Joy, Melanie, and Rachel and Stephanie are some patrons. And thank you all for your support. can do it without you, and I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all of those of you who came out last night to my live. It was a very fruitful live and and it was very busy I was I was surprised a little taken aback and I, but I do appreciate the business and um I I am going to do more lives but I think I my the next one might be just a members only so if you want to get on board with that 
all you have to do is become a sparkle of light and you can get on board and we can have a private party where I can give you a little bit more attention, more one-on-one -on -one attention. Okay, guys, so look forward to these things and I'll see you guys later. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Bye.